Type in the name of your favorite mountain bike trail and you're likely to see a few videos posted directly from someone's action camera. Sometimes they're cool, but usually they suck. When they are edited, it's usually to add a long title screen, annoying music, or over-the-top transitions, which only exacerbate the nausea you're experiencing. That is, if you're still watching. But action cameras are the easiest way to record your ride, hands down. So how can you use them to make videos that don't suck? Number 1. Get a good camera angle. Most action cameras have Wi-Fi, so you can view some sample clips and make sure you're not recording your top tube for an entire day. Ideally, you want a lot of the trail and a little bit of your bike. This gives the viewer a frame of reference and a true first-person view. Number 2. Use the proper settings. On a GoPro, you want to use SuperView for first-person video. This usually has an S at the end. On other action cameras and older GoPros, you want to set the field of view as wide as possible. This helps the video look more stable and mimic what you would be seeing through your eyes. Number 3. Record some other stuff. Take your camera off its mount or use your cell phone to get interesting clips. Show us what the trailhead looks like or what bike you're riding. If you don't mind bringing one of these bendy tripods around, you can even set up a camera to film yourself. These clips help break up the video and give the viewer a break from dizzying first person footage. Number 4. Edit your video. Most of us have access to some kind of editing software, whether it be iMovie, Windows Movie Maker, GoPro Studio, or even YouTube's online video editor. There are tutorials out there for all of these platforms, and generally they're all equipped with everything you need. Editing allows you to cram three hours of writing into an interesting three minute video. Number 5. Choose your very best clips. Clip selection must be done emotionlessly and ruthlessly, which could mean rejecting moments that have personal significance. Look at this graph. As my video progresses, people continually drop off and watch something else, with an average view time of 73%. Every second that progresses is an opportunity to lose the viewer's attention, so hit them with your best clips and leave them wanting more. Number 6. Lose the title screen in crazy transitions. Jump into the action right away and put your title in the corner. Especially on platforms like Facebook, you have only milliseconds to grab someone's attention as they scroll by. When you switch clips, you don't always need to use a transition. Transitions are useful when the scene is changing or something significant is about to happen. Use subtle transitions like cross dissolve so your video doesn't look like total garbage. Number 7. Let us hear the trails. A lot of people put loud music over their ride and block out the trail sounds altogether, but I think this is a mistake. The sounds of the trail bring the viewer into the scene and make everything more realistic. If you're getting lots of wind noise, see if your software has noise reduction. Lowering the bass can also improve the sound tremendously. Number 8. Edit to the music. If you decide to use music, pay attention to the waveform. You can switch clips exactly on a beat to keep the video moving along. Beats will usually be denoted by a large peak in the waveform. Subtly include the audio track from your action camera, so that loud bumps and skidding are still audible. If someone is speaking in the video, reduce the volume of the music for that moment. A good audio mix gives a really professional touch to your video. Number 9. Get more angles. Your camera might be a $300 GoPro, but you could get 6 cheap knockoffs for that price. Pick up some B cameras so you can get other views besides your helmet. After you bomb a descent, you might want to cut to a rearward angle so the viewer can look back at it. Point a camera at yourself as well. Sometimes putting a face to your video makes it more personal and relatable, even if you're ugly. If you have a friend with you, they can wear a camera on their bike or helmet, pointing towards you for a third person shot. This is how I edited the descent on the New Jersey video. Number 10. Tell a story. This doesn't need to be a spoken narrative but assembling your footage chronologically helps the viewer understand what's going on. Show the entrance to the trail briefly before you ride it. If you crash, show it, followed by clips of the aftermath. If you stop to fix something or session a feature, consider it video gold. 
Stories are much easier to follow than random video clips. So those are my 10 tips. You can use them with any camera, any software, or with other topics besides mountain biking. If you're already making great videos, I need you to leave your tips in the comments. Tell us what editing software you use and what your camera settings are. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time.